Hi kiddos, Grammy Deb here. Well, I just read all three of these books and um, I didn't have the microphone turned on. So I gotta read them again. So I'm gonna start with the first one. We'll read it and then we'll keep going, okay? This one is called Barnyard Buddies on the Duck Pond and it's by Tr Trisha M. Stockland. This is our book for today. In a coop on the farm, a mother duck rests on her nest. She is keeping her eggs warm. Quack, quack. A female duck is called a hen. The hen has lined her nest with down. These small, soft feathers keep her eggs warm when she leaves her nest. Eggs must be kept warm to hatch. After a few weeks, the eggs start to crack. The young ducklings break out of their shells. They are covered with wet yellow down. Baby ducks are called ducklings. After the ducklings dry off, they are ready to leave the nest. They follow their mother to the pond. Within 24 hours of hatching, ducklings are ready to leave the nest. The ducklings poke around the pond for insects. These juicy bugs help the ducklings grow big and strong. Ducklings do not drink milk from their mothers. A lot of other babies drink milk from their mothers, but not ducks. The ducklings are full. It is nap time. The brood snuggles near its mother to sleep. A group of ducklings is called a brood. After only four weeks, the ducklings start to get adult feathers. The young birds preen their feathers. They stretch their wings. When ducks preen, they are cleaning and oiling their feathers. This oil keeps ducks waterproof. After another four weeks, the ducks are fully grown. They waddle around the farm and swim in the pond. Ducks waddle because their legs are near the back end of their bodies. This helps them swim. The farmer feeds the ducks cracked corn. When winter comes, the young ducks will have extra weight and down and stay warm. Farmers raise ducks for down, eggs, and meat. Ducks are also raised as pets. Next spring, these ducks will hatch their own broods. Until then, there is plenty to do near the pond. Quack, quack. Looks like they're having fun. Now this page just tells us some things about the book. So we're going to go over these things. First we'll read the one about the ducks. The duck parts. Okay. See here. Okay. We've got a duck bill. An eye. What's this? The wing. The breast and the foot. And these are some words we learned for the story. A brood is a group of ducklings. A coop is a small barn on a farm, especially for ducks and chickens and geese. Down is the tiny feathers that keeps a young bird warm. Insects or bugs. 
an oil, a greasy liquid that does not mix with water. Now here's some fun facts <clears throat> at the end of this book about ducks. It says, a hen will protect her young while they feed. She will watch for enemies such as snapping turtles and eagles. Female ducks have louder quacks than male ducks. Pecan ducks are the most common type of farm duck in the United States. Ducks have a special gland that makes the oil they spread onto their feathers. All ducks preen their feathers with this oil. Some ducks, or excuse me, some kinds of wild ducks will dive more than a hundred feet underwater to catch food. A male duck is called a drake. Hens will start quacking and clucking to their ducklings even before the ducklings have hatched. And farm ducks cannot fly as well as wild ducks. So that was our, our Barnyard Buddy book on the duck pond. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.